Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans. Thank you very much for watching the brand new video on, of course, the beautiful Wonder RL, our brand new baby. We're very excited. You know, 60 years of building RVs. Very exciting when we launch a brand new RV, especially in the tough times that we're facing in the world right now. But we're very excited that uh, you can get one of these beautiful motorhomes, do some self-isolation. Self you can be on your own. You can... Uh, Go anywhere you want, you know, in North America, and especially now that they're starting to lift some of the restrictions up. I think it's going to be absolutely fabulous. You can be in your own bed every night, your own pillow, your own comfortable, make your own foods. It's going to be very exciting to go. So once again, thank you very much for watching the video. We had a lot of fun making it. And uh, now we've got some questions, and I'm just going to start off with the questions right now. We uh, want to know the tank capacity sizes. So we, uh, we have 34 uh, fresh. Um, we are 35 uh, sorry, black and 30, 25 gray, and then 13 gallons of propane. And we have 25 gallons of, uh, di of a fuel, gas fuel now. So I've always been used to being saying diesel fuel on the Ford Transit because this is built obviously on the brand new Ford gas transit, 3.5 uh, liter twin turbo gas. So very exciting about that. So brand new gas chassis with a 10 speed automatic transmission. So we're very, very excited. We'll get probably more into the chassis as we go along. I have uh, many, many questions. Thank you for all these questions. I'm just going to try and do them in as much order as I can. Uh, next question I have is, the um, are lithium batteries available? Yes, they are. So uh, kind of a late uh, addition uh, to the uh, 2021 model year. We finally got them tested. We're very happy with them. Uh, and uh, we're going to go with lithium batteries. So two lithium batteries. And uh, Don Clausen was mentioning earlier, we have 200 amp hours on the lithium batteries. So very excited option that you can have. That option will be available after July build. So some of the early models, we're just going to have the uh, AGM batteries as we get uh, going throughout the model year. Age, uh, lithium batteries will be an option. So great question there. What is the miles per gallon on the Ford Transit? So great question. You know, I, I got a chance to probably put uh, two or 300 miles on the... Uh, new 21 20 chassis on the uh, Ford Transit and uh, I was getting right out of the gate about 12.5 mpg so we're expecting it to go a little bit higher as the you know brand new motor just fired up we drove it pretty hard to uh, test it out so I, I think it's going to be quite quite exciting with the 10 speed automatic transmission um, I can tell you on the Ford Transit I've never driven a motorhome with this kind of power this size of motorhome in a uh, in a Mercedes or uh, the Ford Transit diesel or and now the gas this one has the most horsepower the most power uh, 310 horsepower and 400 foot pounds of torque so I think the first thing you want to do is once we get these out to our dealer's ground you want to go and take one for a drive you're going to be massively impressed by it so great question there I'm going to keep going here. I'm getting more questions than I'm talking too fast. So what does the intelligent all-wheel drive do? So great option, intelligent all-wheel drive. Uh, Ford, you know, has been shut down for a while. So all-wheel drive chassis are a little bit late. We're going to start getting them in in uh, probably August, September for build. Uh, the intelligent part of it is that it, 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 um, it will diagnose or it will let you, it'll know if the road is slippery or not and will automatically come on so that's what the intelligent all-wheel drive is it's a nice little safety feature it doesn't necessarily have to be on all the time but if it, it uh, finds bad road conditions it will automatically fire up so great question there um murphy bed size so murphy beds behind me we'll probably have a little look at that in a second the uh, bed is 58 by 74 and uh where are we here? Does the seating in the front living area convert into a small bed? No, it does not. Uh, currently, it does not, unlike the uh, Unity RL does. This one does not. Um, and another question about the all-wheel drive. Does it change the height of the chassis? It does not. So all-wheel drive and the two-wheel two drive, two rear-wheel drive, the chassis stays exactly the same height. There's no difference. Just uh, the optional all-wheel drive is just an option on that. So we got a couple more questions here. I got Rick Munn gave us a question here. Okay, Rick, don't you slide him down here. There we go. Yeah, he was asking about the gas mileage as well in the Ford versus the diesel. So, you know, the Ford diesel uh, motor, I would say, you know, and you could test this with our customers. I think we're always between 15 and 17 MPG. That would have been with the diesel. The Ford, as I mentioned to you earlier, and it was just brand new right out of the, uh, off the assembly line. We took it out to shoot the video. 
and it was around 12.5 and we were probably driving at 65 70 miles an hour because we were going way out to about uh, 120 140 kilometers from where we were so we were driving it pretty hard so um i, I would think it's going to be in that 12 to 14 range it, you know it might it probably won't be as good as a diesel but it'll be very close very close um okay so next question uh jay phillips wanted to know how many seat belts so two seat belts in the uh rl ws uh also wanted to know if the front area turns into a, a bed and it does not uh rick munn we already talked about rick and what do we got rebecca did uh do i understand we can still get uh, set the temperature to cool down if it gets too warm in the, with the lp generator yeah so we have the firefly system and one of the new features for 2000 and uh 21 model year is we have an app now that you can uh, log on it's a I think it's a dollar 39 for the app you log it onto your phone and you can uh, you know control the uh, motorhome right off the app and you can set the uh, auto generator and set your temperature and uh, then you've got uh, if temperature got too hot inside the motorhome the uh, generator would come on turn on the air conditioner cool the motorhome down great feature if you have pets at all so that's all part of the uh, firefly multiplexing system and the uh, new app that you can download on your phone okay where are we here now so uh robin uh clark wanted to know does the all-wheel drive reduce the towing and uh carrying ca ca capabilities on the chassis you know it does not so the all-wheel drive chassis will not affect the towing or uh carrying into the motorhome, so uh, cargo carrying capacity. Uh, where are we here? So we've got another question here. Uh, Kathy Stewart does wants us to show or describe the entrance step into the shower for us old farts. Well, I would probably qualify into that too, so I was nice and comfortable there. I don't know if we can show that or not. Can we show that? It's right over here. So I would say we've got, uh, it would look like, what do you think that is? 10 inches, seven, eight inch, 10 inches step going into the shower area. And that's obviously because our wheel wells are right underneath there. So we had to build the shower above the wheel wells in case you wanted to know why there is a slight step. You've got a nice uh, handle here on the side for getting in and out. So it's pretty easy to get in and out of the big stand up shower here, but that is why the uh, shower is a little bit higher is because the wheels the dual wheels from the chassis are right underneath that spot so okay so great question there okay what else we got here going on we have a uh, question i think kathy also asked do you put wood on the outside walls we do not we use vetrolite it's a product that comes out of italy we vacuum bond the vetrolite onto the aluminum studs and the polystyrene insulation so there's no wood backing and I think I know why she asked that question. So when you would back your gel coat exterior, you can get thermal cracking. So what happens is the, uh, the um, temperature of the paints gets warm, the wood is cold, or you get a little moisture behind the wood, it can cause thermal cracking. But we use uh, Vetrolite, comes out of Italy. It's a one piece sheet of gel coat. We vacuum press that onto the uh, wall. So no wood backing. Uh, where are we here now? Um... Sorry, we're just describe entrance door. Bob Green. Hey, Bob, how are you? Whoop, Bob turned on me. Bob, uh, are the prices for the gasoline chassis going up? The chassis, all the uh, 21 pricing is out. Uh, we'll be out to the dealers um, as of tonight. And will it be on our website? Uh, it'll be on our website tonight or right now, actually. So the pricing that you see on our website on the build and price is uh, live and good to go. Okay, so the road runners, was it too late uh, for the video? Does the gas generator have auto gen start? Yes, that's all part of the, uh, so the road runner club, thank you very much, we love you guys. The, um, they wanted to know about the gas generator if it has auto gen start and it does. So we used to have a propane generator when we ran a diesel engine so now that we've gone to a gas uh, chassis or a gas engine, so now we're gone with the four kilowatt gasoline generator. So uh, that way the auto gen start works with it and you're running it off your main 25 gallon fuel tank. So uh, you're gonna have more life 
on the uh, running the generator off the main fuel tank. And then, of course, you have more life now with the propane tank. So the 13 uh, gallon propane tanks now only going to be running the refrigerator and the stove, the furnace, the outside barbecue, quick connect, and the True Maco Go Comfort Plus hot water heater. So you're going to have more time dry camping. So that's quite exciting. Okay, next question. Uh, the Roadrunner Club, uh, Robin Shields. No leveling or stabilizing jacks in the system on the wonder. Yeah, so currently, uh, you know, we use equalizer systems on our uh, Unity models, and nobody had ever developed a leveling system for the Ford because it was only 10,360 pounds. So weight was a serious issue when we built on the diesel chassis. Now that they've gone to gas, they've increased the GVWR to 11,000 pounds, so we now have an increase. So We've sent information out. We sent it out to the equalizer guys that we want them to start working on a system. But currently, they have not developed a system yet, but they are working on one. So hopefully in the future, we will have a stabilizer system or a leveling jack system on the Ford as well. Great question. Okay. Uh, Robin. Robert. Whoop, Robert. You have a question that I can't find now. Sorry. Robert wants to know, does the driver and passenger seat swivel? Yes. So new, uh, new option from Ford that we took were driver passenger seats. They both turn and swivel. So that's exciting. So it'll do it also on the RTB. He actually asked about the RTB. So yes, it will. And uh, next question is from Debbie. Everyone at LTV is awesome. Dean, you are the best. She didn't say that part. I just threw that one in. But thank you very much, Debbie S., Ray, uh, what's the cargo carrying capacity? So the cargo carrying capacity on the RL right now, the way we have it equipped full load is 637 pounds. So that's after people, fuel, water, propane. You have 637 pounds of stuff that you can take with you. Clothes, food, gear. Okay. And uh, what's our next question? So we've got... Uh, Oh, this is, you guys are going to like this one. Uh, Chemo, Christy, wants to know if I've lost weight. <laughs> no. It's a girdle. So uh, it's just holding everything in. So that's how that goes. Uh, I was self-quarantined for 14 days. All they did was eat food, snacks, and watch Netflix. So I have to get back in shape. Um... Next question is from Stuart. Is it a four-season coach? No, it is not. All of our tanks are below floor, so not a four-season coach. Uh, more set up for three seasons. If you live in Florida or California, yes, it's a four-season coach. But if you live in the great white north where we live in, no. So uh, we want you to use it uh, up until the fall area or commute down south. So that's how that goes. Um, educated Panda. I like that. Uh, is there adaptive cruise control in the new Ford chassis? Great question. So there is not on the cutaway chassis. So if you were to Google the Ford website and you pull up the transit chassis, you're going to see, hey, it shows it's got adaptive cruise control. That's on the van only. They did not do it on the cutaway chassis and what we build on. These are considered a class C motorhome, which are cheaper to insure than a class B. But we call them kind of a B plus because we don't have that big overhang when you're driving down the road right you're driving in a tunnel forget that so we have the beautiful panoramic view up front so no adaptive cruise control on the ford the unity rl does have that so if that's a feature that you really really have to have then slide on over to the beautiful unity rl as well okay so next question where are we here we have uh big daddy do you dye your hair now big daddy is one of our uh our IT guys. So that's just a little shot at me and I appreciate that. And, uh, you know, is, is gray dyeing your hair? I don't think so. So thank you. Um, Linda, uh, this is a gorgeous motorhome, and I wish to purchase one. How long would it take delivery? Great question. So we built some spec units for our dealers that we're going to start sending out, um, in the next uh, few weeks. We'll probably be in uh, full production in, uh, late July, August, you know, getting more and more out to, uh, all of our customers that order. And of course we have RV shows coming up. So hopefully that happens, you know, with the Hershey show in September, we got the California super show 
in October. So hopefully all those happen and we're going to have units at all those really big shows. And then of course, into January, we have the uh, Tampa Super Show. And then we have the Pleasanton uh, Manufacturer Show in uh, Northern California. So we will be getting them out the uh, line. We're pretty excited about it. Uh, a lot of new features in the factory line for safety with social distancing and things like that. So the line's not quite running at full power, but we, uh, in the next few weeks, we're pretty confident that we're going to be able to roll. Plus, with all the big RV manufacturers shutting down in April, it kind of shut down all the suppliers. So we are kind of at the mercy of suppliers sending us, you know, air conditioners and toilets and refrigerators so that we can build faster. But we're pretty confident that uh, things are looking up. The RV business is doing great. Um, people, like I said, want to self-isolate. And if they wanted to self-isolate, what better way to do it is in an RV? So that's a great question. Okay, what else we got here? We have uh, more questions than I ever thought we would have. So um, we are no gorgeous motor home. RV lifestyle, ooh, a magazine. Uh, the old wonder had a rear view uh, mirror camera function. Does it on the new chassis? That's a great question. So the backup camera is now in the uh, in the uh, monitor. So in the uh, Ford monitor, the new eight inch monitor, that's where the backup camera is. So there's no mirror in the uh, in the uh, backup mirror. Uh, in the rear view mirror, sorry, it's built into the monitor now. So yes, you still have a backup camera. It's just in the eight inch monitor. Okay, so where are we here now? So freshwater tank, uh, that was from Armand. It's a uh, freshwater tank is 34 gallons. Uh, I have a customer, MD, wants to uh, know if he can, if we sell in Europe. Unfortunately, we do not. Uh, both manufacturers, Ford and um, Mercedes, do not allow us to ship this their North American built chassis across the ocean. They would void the chassis warranty. Um, and you'd be miserable, so we do not. I'm sorry. Chris Miller is the uh, RL uh, additional new floor plan option. Whoops, or is it replacing an existing floor plan? Nope, it's a brand new floor plan. So we now have four uh, floor plans on the Wonder. We have the uh, FTB front twin bed, the MB Murphy bed. We have the RTB, which is the garage storage unit, and of course now the RL. So four floor plans on the Wonder motorhomes. Um, where are we here now? So, uh, the Roadrunners are still very active. They, uh, was it too late on the video? Does the gas generator have auto gen start? I think we already answered that one. Yes, it does. So then we have another question from DC. That's not me, but that is my initials. Will you ever see lithium or lithium batteries on the Wonder or Unity? Yes, we do. It's an option now. So uh, going forward, we've gone to lithium batteries, 2000 watt inverter. And we also invert the microwave off of the lithium batteries or the AGM batteries. So you can run the microwave without turning on your generator. That's kind of exciting. Uh, Sarah, oh, uh, Rebecca, do the, is there, do you step down into the driver's area or the driver's area is on the same level? It's all on the same level. So the RL all on the same level. So that's very exciting. Uh, you don't have to step down into it. Angela, is the diesel engine better than the gasoline engine? Well. You know, great question. I mean, we've been building on the diesel engine for the last five years, so we're very familiar with that. This is uh, the gas engine, which they've been running in their F-150 trucks, which people rave about. So very exciting. Like I said, I've only been able to get maybe a couple hundred miles on it. Most power I've ever driven a motorhome with, and 10-speed uh, transmission's fantastic. I believe we were going 65 miles an hour, under 2,000 RPM, if I remember correctly. It was right in that range, so... The RPM to uh, speed is very, very good. So very excited about it. Um, you know, over the, the years, the price of diesel has been relatively high in relationship to gas. So even if you're going to be one or two miles per gallon less than the diesel, it's actually going to balance out because of the price of diesel. So we're very excited about the new gas chassis from um, Ford. Okay. Uh, where are we here? Bob Green two different types of gas engines. Yeah, uh, so Bob was on the website of Ford, which is great, thank you. And they, uh, they do have two different types of gas engines. We're going with the 3.5 twin turbo EcoBoost gas engine. That's the one we're using on the Wonder chassis because it gives us the most GVWR of 11,000 pounds. So good question there, but that's the motor we're running with. Uh, my wife says she would agree to buy if we installed a bidet. Is that possible? Yes, the bidet. Um, 
Well, I would have to say no on that one. I, I, I know there's an aftermarket one, believe it or not, because the customer sent me a picture of it. They bought it. It's an aftermarket bidet that's seat cover that fits on the toilet. So uh, that would be as close as you're going to get to a bidet. You'd have to get an aftermarket one, but I have seen customers that have done it. Uh, okay, is it an outlet at the back for a CPAC machine? Yeah, we have two. There's one up in this area here. I have an inver inverted plug on this side as well. So easily to run a CPAC machine. We run a 2000 watt inverter, which is standard on all the uh, Wonder motorhomes. So you should have lots of power. And with the lithium batteries, you know, you're picking up even more amp hours, you know, overnight. So you're gonna have no problem with the CPAC machine. Okay, where are we here? Um, we also have USB plugs and, and reading lights back here as well. What is the overall height? This comes from Ray. What is the overall height and width? So our, our height is just under 10 feet. So that's what's really exciting about a Wonder Motorhome. Under 10 feet. So I think we're all, we're uh, nine feet and nine feet, uh, 11 and three quarter inches. So just under 10 feet. That's with, uh, that's with, uh, the air conditioner. And our width is 710. So we're 710 wide and we're just under 10 feet exterior height. Good question. Okay, so uh, greetings from, we're in Ohio, Charles in Ohio. Does uh, the new Wonder have ducted air vents? It does not. We go with a drop down air conditioner. You can probably see right here. So we run the air conditioner right here. Lots of power venting down and venting forward and back. So 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump. Now, one of the reasons that we can keep the motorhome under 10 feet was we didn't duct the air conditioning. So that was really the only reason behind it. We wanted to keep it a little bit lower, a little easier to handle, a little better fuel economy going down the road. So higher the uh, roof line, of course, then you're blocking more wind. So uh, Gerald Miller, does the Firefly system have Bluetooth so you can control the lights and system right off the phone? Let's see if we can do that. Uh... The answer would be yes. You can control the entire motorhome right here off your phone. So yes, it has Bluetooth. Good question. Where are we here now? That was from Gerald, right? Gerald, yes. So uh, we got uh, Joe, question on the diesel engine, still available in 2021. It's not. Ford discontinued the uh, 3.2 liter diesel engine. Uh, they stopped building it, I think, in December of uh, 2019. So the, the diesel engine is no longer available. We may still have some out in the field because of course we had to build on it until the new Ford chassis came. So there are still some diesels out there if you want to go with the diesel engine, which is a great, great chassis as well. We, we uh, you know, you always have mixed emotions when a manufacturer changes something. So uh, we, we love the diesel. It worked grand, ran great, uh, great fuel economy, but uh, Ford obviously, you know, there's been a lot of EPA testing on the diesel chassis. So I think Ford just said, you know what, here we can get rid of one headache. We're just gonna go gas engine. So I'm assuming that that's why they did that. Um, where are we here? Can you get the old Murphy bed floor plan with a gas chassis? Can you get the, I'm assuming you're talking about the, the Murphy bed, the Wonder Murphy bed is still available. Absolutely, We're, we have four floor plans. So the MB, the FTB, uh, the RTB, and now the RL. So Four different floor plans on the Wonder, and uh, and you can get it with the gas chassis, absolutely. Uh, can you drive with the bed down? Yes, you could drive with the bed down because the no, I'm not, is that if that's on the Murphy bed, you still can, yes. And even on this one, absolutely, because uh, this is in the back area, so yes. Now, if somebody's sleeping in the bed, that's a whole different problem because, you know, technically they're supposed to be seat belted in. So I would not suggest having somebody sleeping on the bed when the bed's down when you're driving down the road. But yes bed could be down if you wanted to pull over and have a nap the bed would be ready sure absolutely and you can walk around it on the murphy bed as you can on this one okay so uh val what is val outlets 12 volt and 110 yes uh a lot of the val a lot of the outlets are inverted so we have uh 12 volt plugs and we have inverted plugs in the motorhome usb plugs so yes you can not a problem um where are we here we got smiley Smiley, we haven't heard from Smiley in a long time. Storage volume and on the outside, this will be coming. Yeah, the, um, I'm assuming about outside storage. I think we talked about it on the video. So we got an outside storage uh, compartment on this side. And I think we have four other storage compartments down below, lower compartments. So pretty good storage, lots of good storage area, lots of good storage inside the motorhome. I like it. So uh, 
I think you're going to be able to go RVing anywhere you want. Uh, Sarah, do you ha have to move the cushions to set up the bed? Should we show the bed? Yeah, let's do that. So we'll uh, move my questions and answers. There you go. <laughs> We're probably going to lose our spot. So yeah, so just to show you, it's pretty simple. I just moved them out of the way here. Pretty easy to do. So a couple little things on the uh, on the motorhome. There's a safety travel lock here. Sorry, get out of your way. You can see the safety travel lock. Can you see that okay? Yep. So make sure that's off. And uh, what makes this one a little bit different than our other one is you have to hold the button here. So you have the button. And you can see the bed. Just keep holding the button. Bed comes all the way down. So that's what makes it really, really unique. That's what I really like about it. So nice big bed area. These cushions, you can actually just slide them underneath. See that? I'm just gonna do this because I just wanted to demonstrate something that was pretty cool that I really liked on this model. You know, if you just wanted to sit back and use the bed kind of as a chaise lounge, it's kind of cool just to, to sit back like this and you can watch your TV. It feels really comfortable. Now, what's the big selling feature on this? If you have somebody sleeping here and I'm sleeping over here or somebody else is sleeping over here because I probably wouldn't be, you can just slide out of the bed. Look at this. So I can slide out of the bed and I don't, I'm not gonna bother this person. So you can walk around if I wanted to get something out of the fridge or go to the bathroom. So I really, really like that. So it's kind of a walk around island bed. So, but that's how simple the cushions are to uh, move out of the way. And we'll have to get back to the, uh, to the questions. So when you wanna bring it back up once again, you have to hold the button. If you don't hold the button, see how it locks in place? Make sure your significant other is out of the bed. They won't enjoy that. Okay. And then uh, you have two footrests on this, uh, you know, for, for lounging, which is kind of nice. So I have one on for two people, which is, I really like that. So I'm just gonna grab my uh, stuff. Okay, so we demonstrated the bed. Who do we have next? I thought I'd get a lot more prank emails or prank phone calls, text messages. Sarah, do you move the cushions? Okay, Rebecca, smart TV Blu-ray player. So we go with a uh, smart Blu-ray player, which makes the TV smart. So that's standard. We also have a sound bar. So one Blu-ray player, so I'm with a t switcher box. So I can watch a movie back here. I can watch TV up front. Have the optional satellite dish, so you could watch satellite TV here, movie up there, normal TV here, satellite dish up there. So that's the advantage of the switcher box. Okay, where else are we? Uh, as the features, features of the Ford travel vans are getting more advanced, will Ford pass this to Lincoln? Oh, that would be probably a Ford question. Uh, that, uh, you know, they kind of supply us with a chassis and we build the motorhome on the chassis. So that would be, uh, something that Ford would have to decide if they wanted to build a, a Lincoln cutaway chassis. I mean, I'm all in for it. Yeah. Get Ford to do it. Yeah. We'll build on it. Yeah. Let's do it. I like it. Okay. Peter, what does Peter want here? Peter Leisure Travel Vans, a version of the 2021 Wonder that has a bike garage. This is a big deal. Yep. That's the RTB. So, uh. Once again, the RTB, all the floor plans now are built on the gas chassis, so it's kind of exciting. So uh, we build the RTB, as I mentioned a few times, we have the RTB, the MB, the FTB, and now the RL. So four different floor plans on the one. It's all on our website. By the way, we have a great, our uh, marketing guys are absolutely geniuses when it comes to our website and all the stuff that they do. So check out the website. It's absolutely fantastic. And plus, if you own a leisure travel van, make sure that you join my LTV club because we have walkthrough videos on everything and something that you don't understand you can just hit the video and it walk you right through it and show you how everything works in the motorhome it's absolutely fantastic okay where are we now peter i think we just did peter the 2021 has bike garage yet big deal for riders given the cost of mountain bikes absolutely i mean that that was one of the reasons you know it's kind of funny when i was doing the shows out in the portland area everybody's telling me they have this ten thousand dollar bike twelve thousand dollar bike i said oh no it can be a motorcycle We're not, no 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 they said no bicycle that's how we actually did the uh came up with the idea you know came back and gave it to angela and said angela we need a place to put these bikes bikes are expensive people don't want them getting stolen so rtb great floor plan for that 
You got Harry, he wants to know what's the towing capacity. So up to 4,000 pounds on the new Ford gas chassis. Now, if you go with the RTB, because of the garage, we don't hook the, the um, jack, or the, sorry, we don't hook the hitch into the main frame because we created a garage, so we can't. So it's only 2,000 pounds on the RTB. RL, MB, FTB, all 4,000 pounds. We have a 5,000 pound receiver hitch, but you don't want to go more than 4,000 pounds. Okay. Bob Green's still listening. I like that, but we're going to got to do Larry first. Does the chassis battery charge the house batteries? So the alternator charges the house batteries. The dual chassis batteries, so we have dual AGM chassis batteries from Ford. The alternator charges those, and we also have a line running to the house batteries. So, yes, but it's done through the alternator. Okay, uh, where are we here? Okay, um, we did Bob uh, Leisure Tone version of 2021. Harry, towing capacity. We got Ray. What is your favorite feature on the new RL? Uh, my favorite feature on the new RL, you know, I really, really like this area. I, I actually was very blessed that uh, the company gave me an RL, the Unity, last year to uh, take it out. We went out to, uh, I took it down through Montana and out to. Um, Oregon and then down to California so I was very lucky to get to use it for a couple weeks and uh, you know it's a fun floor plan because you create two living areas should we show that let's just show that you know so this is what's great about it so I'm back here talking my little head off as normal and uh, you can come up front so I just want to show you two things so I can block this off just for a second look so you can block this off so I have a separate living area back there and if you come up front here you can see we have a separate living area up front. So two living areas. So if you wanted to go, you know, two people, you want to watch a movie back there, you, it's an office, you want to work back there, and somebody wants to be working up front, you know, it just gives you two living areas in 24 feet, 9 inches. I mean, it's a small motorhome. In all honesty, the motorhome, the house itself, is 19 feet. But when we add the chassis to it, we're 24, 24, 9. So that's one of the cool, cool features about this floor plan. I just love the two living areas. It's just, you know, it feels like we're in a way bigger motorhome. It just feels way bigger than it is. And the dry bathroom, I mean, how can you go wrong with that? I mean, you know, we used to build vans, so we love vans. But the problem with the vans, you know, you have a wet bath, you sit on the toilet to shower. Here's an opportunity where you have a separate big shower and a separate toilet area and then two living areas. I, it's just a fabulous floor plan. It really is. Okay, great question. So now, where are we here? So, uh, will the, um, will, this comes from Dottie, um, will the color of the Unity RL cabinets be available on the FX floor plan for 2020, 2021 called Cashmere? They will not. So, a couple things on, we have a couple, two unique wood colors. We do the um, Cashmere on the Unity RL. That's only the Unity that gets that color. And on the Wonder. And then now, for 2021 on the Unities, we will do the Natural Rift on RL and of course on all the Wonders. So two wood colors on Wonders, it'll be the R, it'll be the Cashmere or the Natural Rift. So good question there. So, uh, okay, where are we here? Ba, Larry, did we do Larry? What color is the upholstery? Okay, so this comes, Lindy want, uh, Rollins wants to know uh, what color is the upholstery? This is mountain. So we have three different colors of uh, leather. We have the fog. We have the, um, what's the other? I can, I'm drawing a blank, sorry. Uh, earth, thank you. And uh, we have the mountain. So this is mountain, in case you wanted to know. It looks absolutely great with the uh, new concrete uh, Corian countertops. Corey did a fabulous job uh, picking the colors with the cashmere. It looks, it looks light. It looks bright. It looks beautiful. Okay, so... Uh, uh, Rebecca wanted to know if there's privacy screens. Looks like there's only one type of pull down shade. So good question. So on the um, shades, so we have a shade that snaps in place here that blocks off the lower solarium style window. And then we have a nighttime shade, as you can see here with the built in clips to hold it in place so I can have the windows open, which is very unique. So this blocks off completely and uh, then you have the nighttime shade as well. So good question there. Okay, so um, where are we? Does the Larry, does the chassis battery charge the house batteries? We did that one already, thank you. And it does uh, through the alternator. Um, 
Bob Green is still here. Thanks, Bob, for watching. Uh, thanks for the video and good luck on the rollout of the Wonder RL and the Ford EcoBoost system. I enjoyed the tour of the Ford plant too. Oh, okay, well, thanks, Bob. That was uh, not even a question, but just a compliment, and I'll take those all day long. Okay, so uh, Nigel, great design, done everything, great team planning. Yep, that's uh, we have a great team at Leisure Travel Vans. It's uh, I wish you all could uh, come and visit our factory sometime. You'll be uh, massively impressed with uh, every single aspect of our company. It's absolutely fantastic. Okay, so uh, where are we here? Jeff does the rear TV swivel. The rear TV swivel is stationary. So it's just locked in place right there. So it does not swivel. Okay, and then, uh, and then George must be a Winnipeg boy. Because George P, is it possible to get the upholstery in the Grey Cup winning Blue Bomber colors? George, of course. It's a no-brainer. Uh, I don't think so, George. It's ultra leather. I don't know if they make this color in Bomber gold and blue, but that would be kind of cool. Uh, okay, so where are we here now? Do you offer lithium batteries on the Unity? Yes, it's an option on, on, for 2021. It'll be optional on Wonders, and it will be optional on Unity Motorhomes as well. So, nice little option. That's after July, though, after July production. So, if you want lithium batteries, it's after July production. Okay, so Mark wants to know, can the front be converted into a sleeping area? Um, so, uh, it cannot yet. Um, so, kind of the rule of thumb is we have to have one seat belt per sleeping position, so we don't make anybody mad at uh, DOP, DOT or Transport Canada. So uh, currently there's only two belts in the motorhome, so sits two, sleeps two, but uh, I'm sure that the guys, the design guys will be working on that in the future because the uh, RL does it on the Unity. So uh, good question there. Okay, so um, I think that's about it. We just uh, really appreciate everybody watching the video and all the great questions. I wasn't expecting that many questions. Hopefully I, I got them, most of them right. So that's great. And once again, thank you very much, you know, for supporting Leisure Travel Vans. Uh, I know it's it's a tough time. I, we totally get it. Uh, you know, we had to lay all of our staff off for, you know, a month. And, uh, you know, it was sad. It was saddening. And uh, things are, are looking better, looking brighter for everybody. And uh, like I said, if you, I think if this is the year, as I said it in the video, I think if there is a year or a time in life to get an RV and go, in our, go RV, and I think, you know, now is the time. Yeah, I'm not going on a cruise ship, not flying to Europe. You know, I don't even need to stay in a hotel, but you can stay in your own personal RV and uh, you can self-quarantine, you can stay with your family, you can do whatever you want. So once again, you know, thank you very much for all the support. Uh, we love all you guys and uh, get, get down to your local leisure travel van dealer and come and see the brand new Wonder RL. You're going to absolutely love it. Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans, thanks. Mm -hmm.